So I wanted to show you this wig that I picked up from Amazon. I just wanted to try like a red color. I've never tried red before that I can remember. So I just really wanted to try it and I just picked up one. It was under $50, about $40. I'll leave the link below. Um, but it was from the hair company called Missy Vane. And they usually have like pretty good ratings and everything. So I didn't feel so skeptical from buying from them and then the pictures like these are the pictures that they had online they looked decent of course what you see online is never a really good representation of what you're going to get in person but i decided to take the plunge and go ahead and pick it up and see how it looks so it came actually pretty fast a lot of them are fulfilled by amazon so if you have prime you will get them within two days if you need one like stack um it just says like it gives you just little instructions on how you're supposed to treat it. if this is your first wig um, the type of brush that you're supposed to use which is usually wide within the bristles so you don't uh, tear the synthetic um, fibers out of the wig because this is a synthetic wig and then it also comes with two wig caps but I already have my own so I'll just save those for another time another time but right out of the package this is how the wig looks I'm not super happy with the color i thought it was a deeper red shade like a really deep burgundy this is almost like a bluish burgundy i don't know if that translates on camera but yeah it's almost like a bluish burgundy it does come with the adjustable straps so if you have a smaller head uh, it should i don't know if about smaller head because i have a big head but if you have a larger head you can adjust it and it's pretty generous um, and size is actually really soft. It's soft and it seems like it may be breathable as well. Um, the thing that's very exciting is that this lace right here is so soft. Some brands, the lace is really, really hard and that's not very enjoyable to wear. And this is how the hairline looks with the lace. Kind of thick, but not the thickest I've ever seen. Um, it also has combs. It has combs in the back. And then it has a comb. I think it has yeah, two combs on the sides as well to secure the wig. And this is the amount of lace that it has right there at the top. So I'm going to go ahead and plop this on really quick. It looks straight out of the packaging. Of course, it needs to be brushed. The part, mm, it could use con some concealer. I don't usually do that, but if you usually do that, it could use some concealer or some foundation underneath to match your skin tone. This one matches my skin tone all right, so there's that, but this is how the hairline looks. And this is how the ears look. So yeah, that's how it looks straight out of the packaging. It is kind of long. I'm kind of short, so this is kind of long on me. I might trim it down, but I'm happy that the cut is not super blunt, so I can just use a razor to 
razor it down a little bit and I'm gonna try to pull some of these fibers out. But the first thing I'm gonna do is cut the lace around. Okay, so this is how it looks with the lace cut off. It's not secured at all. I'm just gonna try to brush it out a little bit. It's getting tangled. I wonder, can you wear it in the side part? I think it's meant to be worn as a middle part, but I guess you could wear it as a side part as well. I can see that if you flat iron it, even though the ear tabs are gonna feel a little bit awkward. But yeah, I think you could wear it in the side part. I always like to, well, any hair actually, always start with the ends. This isn't per se a wig brush, but it has wide, it's wide in between, so you don't tear as much hair out. This is literally about the, if you don't secure this wig, like it doesn't feel sick. Some wigs, even if you don't put the tabs in, or I'm sorry, put the combs in, they still kind of feel secure. This one doesn't at all. So if you're gonna be wearing this one, you have to secure it. Either if you wanna use the combs or just your own bobby pins, like it will literally fly off your head. It's like literally about to fly off of my head. I already like hair coming out, so. Seems like this is gonna be the kind of wig that thins out, which is good because it's kind of like a lot of hair. This is like a lot of hair, I think. I'm just gonna start by pulling some hair out of the part. tighten this actually this is like so tight I'm so big let me tighten this wig this is actually a huge wig I'm, I'm gonna put it like really tight it's like slipping all over my head that might have been the issue let me see if that helps maybe my head isn't as big as I thought okay that helps so I adjusted the straps and that helps a lot. It's like literally the ear tabs weren't even going where they were supposed to because the wig was so big. Okay, so that's what we have right now. So applying this wig was a freaking fail. Oh God. It seems like I have to like glue down, actually glue down the wig and I really don't want to. Cause I'm like trying to grow back my edges, but I decided to do my eyebrows red. Hopefully they don't look this crazy by the time I'm done.
packing up your stuff. Oh my God, is that on the screen? I see some hair. Sitting here packing up your stuff. I um got it in there and I'm trying to put some like bubble wrap around it so it doesn't move around a lot. Um, and then I'm just gonna write down your address. This is always so hard to get in there. It feels really secure. Like I, I don't like it to move around a lot. And then I tape the crap out of it. That's what the people always say to me is that I tape their packages so much, but I really, it would suck if it got broken on the way there. So, but if it ever did, then that's something we'll have to discuss. But, but you know what? Every package has insurance on it anyway. So there's that. But yep, got it packed up. Let me write your address on it. And then I'm going to put it in here and ship it off. I was running here. You do, you do my dude, my guy. My friend said I say it all the time, but I was running here because I thought because of limited hours, they they close at one on the weekends now, and I was like, oh my god, that's so early, and I was like afraid they closed like earlier than four or five or the norm, so I ran here like right before four trying to see if they were open or not because I was actually about to shoot a video, but I was like, you know what, I, I promise I'm gonna get this out today, so I have to. So I came here. And they actually, it says they don't close until 6. And if they close that, I'm going to rip it open because I'm like, girl, I was here. I was here. But yeah, let me get this shipped. And then I might run. I want to show you guys how it looks inside of Sephora. I was there the other day, but the footage I got did not, I don't know what happened to it. So I'm trying to go to Sephora and then also to Bath and Body Works to show you what the situation is with testers um, for the people that haven't gone yet. And then maybe the TJ Maxx to see what they have. But I'm going to take you guys with me and let's get to it. Okay, so I went through all that trouble and then they said their internet's down right now. And it's cash only. And I'm like, girl, we're not supposed to be using cash right now. What are you talking about? Like, I don't want no cash back from you. So I'm going to try to go to the ATM, get some cash, and come back before they close. It's already 4.30, so we'll see. Dude, it started raining so freaking bad. So now I'm trapped in the car. And I'm waiting for it to stop raining. It's coming down so hard, dude. Okay, so I want to go get the money. Now I'm back at the post office trying to deliver this stuff. We'll see. Cause all I use are bowls anyway. So this is like a plate bowl. Cause I hate when my food spills on the other side. Like I don't use plates. Hmm.
Tay Max was a freaking fail. This dude is all up on my booty. Can you please move? Thanks. TJ Maxx was a fail. So I'm about to, I just decided to run to Marshalls real quick to see if they had anything. Um, and then I might give me a little something to drink and then just head home. The sun came out again, so I'm thinking if I want to clean out my car. Ooh, my hair looks a mess, girl. Do I have a brush in here? Of course I have a brush in here. Of course. Hello. <laughs> Let me brush my hair before I go into this space.
pretty the day became when it was just that freaking hurricane earlier. That's crazy. Literally, it's the most beautiful day now. <laughs> Wish I had somewhere to go. Oh, I look greasy. Greasy girl. Greasy girl. 